Okay. This is one of the reasons that I am not in a hurry to make a more male centered channel. And this is going to be a little quicker. All right. So this is called the strong, successful male. Right. And all this guy, this is just my opinion. Don't attack the guy. Don't go here. Don't be saying anything. But what I think this dude does is write up these stories himself. Why do I say that? Because the stories are always extremely well written. They're always well written. Literally, he's in his car reading off the story, right? Like, let's see, turn down the sound and we can kind of get into it. At one point, you will see him rattle off the papers uh there so because he's got like a list of papers these stories are typed up and honestly i think he writes them there's the paper and he reads these stories now this is one of the things um let's just go through the comments The sum things up, the stupid shall become, shall be punished. Uh, my aunt used this tactic on my uncle and drove him to divorce. He was a wonderful human being, the best thing that ever happened to her. Religion does not protect you from earthly evil. You got to protect yourself. All of these stories are about very bad relationships. They're about really, really bad relationships. And it's like, I'm going to tell you why I think that he writes them. Uh, there's a lot of topics in here about open marriages and open relationships. And let's see your dad, like literally he's gotten the pattern. And once again, this guy just sits in his truck and let me see, I think he's getting a million views a month. I'm not sure. And if you're getting a million views a month in any topic, you're going to make 10, 15,000 per month. Sitting in your truck, reading a, a well-written, and the stories are well-written. That's why I think he writes them or he has someone writing them. Oh, 2 million views per month. Now, the thing is, the devil has many forms. I'm sorry I'll do anything. Well, like, while in bed, my wife hypothetically asked for an open marriage, so I factually demanded a divorce. Now, just come to, once again, don't attack this guy. Just come to the channel, and you will see that all of the videos are about negative relationships. All of them. All of them about negative relationships. And once again, these topics, he's always sitting in his truck reading this story. He's never in his house because this is one of the things. And one again, it's like, once again, don't attack this guy. Um, these guys make a lot of money. That create this negative content, they make a lot of money, but. They cannot allow their audience to know how much money she, they're making because this would just piss off their audience. Because essentially, as long as he stays in that truck and he will, because he's not stupid. Um, and just talk about what he's talking about. He'll be fine. I dated two by women. The first didn't tell me until we were about six months in the relationship. I stayed with her another 18 months. At the time I was in college, I wasn't in a hurry to get married. We were having a great time. After two years, she wanted to get married, which for me was a definite no. We broke up and she got with a woman. Another bi woman that they did told me right up front she was bi. I instantly put her in the fun girl category, friends and benefits only. Bottom line, you can't take bi women seriously. Have fun with them, but they're not for marriage. So this story must be 
about the bi girl. Because, like, literally, this, this is the thing. Now, this story right here, I thought was, this is why I think this stuff is written. And I'm going to kind of explain to you. Husbands finds cheating wife's lover condemns and embarks on epic level revenge plan. This, this is why I think these stories are written. <laughs> All right. So this story is about a guy who comes home and he finds some condoms in the trash. So what this guy does is he digs the condom out the trash puts the condom in the refrigerator, right? And then when it's time to have sex with his wife, he puts on a condom and he turns the condom inside out so where the side that collected the semen would be exposed to his wife. And he would have sex with his wife this way. Eventually, his wife got pregnant. Now, this is what's funny. Once again, this is why I think these stories are written by him or someone he knows. The wife actually wasn't cheating. She allowed her friend to come over and it was the boyfriend that she, the, the, the guy that her friend was cheating with that actually left the condoms. The wife wasn't cheating. So her husband got her pregnant with her girlfriend's boyfriend's sperm. I want you to think about this. Okay. So you come home, you, th you assume that your wife is cheating and you have enough in you to get to the point where you can have sex with her. And here's the thing. You don't have one condom on. You've got two. You've got two condoms on. And I'm just sitting there like, OK, that that's just like something out of fancy lie. And once again, these these folks don't care. Uh, she lied about the messages on the laptop. She lied about the condom. She lied about Bob. Why would she tell you the truth about her friend having an affair? Now, here's the thing. This woman wasn't having an affair, but because she allowed her friend. And I, I want you to really think about this. Um, you're home in the middle of the day and you're going to allow your friend to come over and have sex in your house. Because the friend, I believe, was married. And it, it's just like when you really, really sit down and think about it, it sounds like something that somebody would make up. All men should randomly go home early or drive by their houses at lunchtime, take half a day's off once in a while. So women cheat in the family. So many women cheat in the family home. Now, this is funny. The part that's the solidified, this is a fake story where the part where the woman actually took accountability, that's just bad writing. There are some people who kind of think the same thing, but, you know, he's got a, he's got, um, a fan base, right? Just get damn security cameras. I still think she was lying. Why would the girlfriend's boyfriend stop showing up when the wife got pregnant? Then she'd have no effect on if she was telling the truth. Old Jedi, I mean... Uh, uh, that whole story just blew my mind. Letting someone defile your marital bed, using it to cheat to only slightly better than defiling it yourself. Now, okay, I want you to really, really think about this. How many women would actually let someone come over to their house, have sex, in the marital bed. I mean, you know, but once again, you know, two million views a month went down a little bit. It's getting two thousand subscribers, but you cannot make a channel in today's market that talks about being a good man and getting no, no. I mean, seriously, you, you couldn't make that channel. Right. But it's going to suck. It's going to suck because this is what so many people, once again, 80 percent. Um, let's see, when did he start this channel? Uh, four years ago. And he started off hidden with this. He started he found his footing instantly. Millennials are cheating more. 
alimony coming from women. Now, at this point, he used to do these videos, apparently, in his house. And he got out of that, and he moved to the truck. But, like, literally, he found his thing instantly. He found it instantly. And he moved to the truck I'm a, I'm going to kind of tell you why he moved to the truck. Okay. Well, let's kind of let's kind of do some curiosity. All right. So, I'm going to tell you. And this is just my assumption. Why did he move to the truck? Cuz essentially he moved to the truck. Let's go back to the oldest. He came out the house moved to the truck literally four years ago. Moved to the truck, start reading these well. Now, this is the thing. These stories are well-written. Personally, I think he writes them. Um, I think he has a girlfriend. And just having, you know, trying to do this in the house, he cannot have anyone... In his audience, see that he has a girlfriend. I, I want you to think he makes a lot of money from YouTube. This guy has a girlfriend, but his audience is made of men who like to hear content about messed up content about women. So this guy, even though he may have the best girlfriend in the world, he cannot show his girlfriend on the channel. He will never make a video talking about how much money he makes. He can't because once again. Amazing how you have to tolerate my prefaces crowd or the first in that respect is prefaces. My girlfriend dumped me when I came out as broke. She's money phobic. So eventually this was two weeks ago, but let's go back to the old videos and let's just go ahead and look at that. Kind of look at the background. He has a home gym. He's clearly in a house. Right? Go back. But he got in that truck literally shortly after. And that's been his whole scene. He's been in that truck. He has the same thumbnails because he found a formula that worked. Once again, I believe this guy is writing these stories. Like, once again, don't go to this channel attacking him and all this other stuff because he's found something that works. I feel he has a girlfriend. This is why he's in the truck. Because against Lee, with this audience, you cannot show. And th this, this is kind of funny because there's a lot of men on YouTube who profess don't date single mothers and they're actually dating a single mom. Um, you, you see this stuff consistently, right? You see this consistently. Wife wants him back. Now that he has a hot girlfriend. Man dumps wife. Like all of these stories are negative. There's not one positive, not one. Don't fall for the trap. The craziest revenge story. Like, guys should pay for dates. You're a catch. That's the echo chamber of this channel. Girlfriend angry because he won't open joint bank account. Once again, this this is all you see. She had relationships with 100 guys. And his video gets views. Like I said, he's doing like 2 million a month. And um, all of these stories that these supposedly guys in the audience sent him are extremely well written. Um,
break up with girlfriend before joining the military. And this one has like three parts. So if you want to start a YouTube channel and make a lot of money, because this guy is probably making, I would say between 10, 10 and $30,000 a month. And let's kind of go ahead and see how many videos are he putting out. Uh, let's see. Latest. He puts out a video. Oh, four hours, 19 hours, one day, one day, two days. So he's putting out a video every day. I got a question. How many men have all these sad? I'm like, literally, he's putting out a story every day, two days ago, three days ago. You know why he's putting out so much content? Because this is how he makes a lot of money. He's literally putting out a video every day. This is all that he does. This is all he does. And if you try to start like, let's let's just go ahead and go to YouTube. And <laughs> we're going to see, let's see, how to find a girlfriend. All right, so hmm. So let's see. Now, why does her channel work? I'm going to give you 10 seconds to guess why her channel works. Because she's extremely attractive. And she's talking about women and the habits of women. Weird things that make men hot. She she has a wholly, totally different approach. Totally different approach. But why does her channel work? And let's go to her Instagram. Let's actually go to. I would put her at maybe two or three million views a month. Maybe because she gets views. Three point four. And let's see, is she doing shorts? She's doing shorts. So that can kind of distort the view count because shorts. Let's see. When is the last short that she did? Three months ago. OK, so that was the last short that she did. She stopped doing shorts because shorts can mess up your channel. Just go ahead and check again. Five months ago. So she's not actively doing shorts. So there's 3.4 million views. Uh, this girl could be getting 30 to $50,000 per month. 30 to 50,000. But, 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 but it only works because she looks like this. So if you go into how to find a girlfriend, you go to a YouTube channel and let's see. Do, do, do. The attractive man. If this honest dating advice, new videos every week. seems that there's a couple that makes videos. I'm not sure. But once again, look, the attractive man, 3.7, 3,000 views, 2.2, four days ago, four. See what I mean? This is what I'm talking about. Anything that talks about how to get women, how to, it, it doesn't do that well. So, Part of it is the, the package because Courtney, Courtney's got the looks. Hi, everyone. That's the killer. You know, she's got a good background. She has good presentation. 
that's what's doing it for Courtney. All right. But go back to, you know, any video that's talking about how to positively meet women or have a good relationship. Let's see. Where do introverts meet women? School of Attraction. Let's see. That was four years ago. So let's get into current videos. Latest 900. <laughs> you like once again, anything that talks about how to have a relationship, how to be positive, how to do th these channels just don't do well. This is what does well in the current environment on YouTube. The strong, successful male. This is what does. Let's see. How to get a woman. Okay. The science of getting girls. Oh, this one is recent. This. Let's see. What does he talk about? Okay. It's not a dating channel. They just put that video out. So that video kind of went off. So let's go. Now, this is a guy that gets into the psychology of relationships. And um, he's doing really well. He's doing very, very well. His videos gets views. 44, 62, 53, 73. And let's go to Psych Hacks. Let's see. I would put him at about 2 million, maybe 3 million views a month. Oh, 5 million views per month. Let's see. Does he do shorts? He does shorts. Let's see the last short that he did. Because, you know, you got to be careful with shorts. Uh, okay, so he's consistently doing shorts. So shorts can dramatically throw off your account because... Let's say you got 5 million views and let's say I would say maybe half of those are short views or, you know, it is really hard to actually know what's going on when they're doing shorts because the shorts are getting views. Um, let's see. He's here at. Okay. All right, the screen is frozen. All right, there we go. So we're going to have to go back and let's go back a little bit. Three days ago. So he's consistently doing shorts. So it's really hard to gauge what is his long form content, but he is getting numbers on long form content. He's getting numbers. He, he, he's really, really doing well. He talks about the psychology of dating and stuff. And he has, you know, 44, 62, 53. So he's getting numbers. And this is an educated man running the practice. And, you know, there's videos where he talked about how he was afraid to date. Uh, let's see. What is this? Yeah, let's see. Okay. I'm going to show you something. Okay. Show you the power of dating. Um, psych hacks. Three months ago, he got 700. 77 views on soft white underbelly, uh, 51,000 views. But there was another channel he went on. Aha. This is the channel leveling up with Eric Sue, right? 169,000 views, right? Show you the power of dating. When you look at Eric Sue's videos, he gets two, 1,000, 2,000 views. He has Pat Flynn, who's been around for a while. He got 1.3. But when he brought on the dating guy, he got 169,000 views.
So this guy normally doesn't get a lot of views on his content, but he brought on um, the Psych Hacks guy. And that literally, I don't even know, I don't even have to go down. I can go to popular and you're going to see your rich BFF. Psych Hacks, one month ago, this is his best video. Then he got on Humphrey Young. Then Alex Amozzi. You know, when he brings on brands, but his dating video with uh, Modern Dating is Impossible. Here's the playbook, Psych Hacks. Now, let's just kind of go ahead and look at the, the comments. Plot twist. Women have always been like this, but never knew until global communication a lot swapping of notes. This information is critical to men. I'm now 65, spent 25 years dating in L.A. The current dating mess was already in play in California back even back then. There was no information for men. Women, female nature was not understood by men. We were, in fact, raised to be simps, to put women on pedestal, they expect to carry the whole financial weight of the relationship and family. Men socialize each other to get the hottest bait without an understanding of the trap they were walking right into. Glad to see young men wising up. My generation took it in the shorts for their ignorance. 100% of the 30 to 40 mature, mature adult guys in my close circle are divorced. Some multiple times. Don't be like us. And I guarantee you, you go to this video and you go now, you're going to see negative comment after negative comment after negative comment after negative comment. Once again, so if you want to start a dating channel, a channel talking about women, this is your ticket. <laughs> Strong, successful male. That's your ticket. Or you could be hot like Courtney, but typically any channel that's talking about how to have a successful relationship is going to run into problems in this YouTube environment. Because of the 80%. Go to Amazon once again. The 80% has a lot of things going on with it. Go back to upside. Upside. Demographics. Go to upside. Get this book. Check it out. Read it out. I'm telling you. This will explain a lot because why are so many men miserable? Why do you have old men? I am now 65 years old. Modern dating is impossible. That title got a lot of people. That title got a ton of people. So if you want to start a YouTube channel and you want to be successful in the dating niche, you cannot talk about how to get women and, and get like literally if you start a YouTube channel that mocks, shames, makes fun of women or once again, this is my personal opinion. I have no facts, but I honestly think that this guy is a brilliant genius that he writes these stories and he's been putting them out. I also think this guy is in a relationship with a girlfriend and she's cool with it because he makes so much money doing this. That's my thoughts. Once again, I have no proof. I don't know this for a hundred percent, but yeah, that's what I think. <laughs> that's what I think. All right. So if you want to start a channel in the male space, this is the ticket. Unless you've got something, um, definitely, um, you got Courtney's things going on. If you, hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you got Courtney's looks and stuff, because essentially Courtney has put herself out here to do really, really well. And if you got that going on. So that's my thoughts. That's how I look at it. Let me know your thoughts and opinions.